drop a like and do share leave your comments and do not forget to subscribe for more videos what's up guys this is manoj uptani i welcome you all on behalf of the edipedia world today i'll mark the beginning of another fascinating chapter and wherein i'll be discussing with you some of the relevant topics relating to the audit of members of stock exchanges so are you guys excited are you guys enthralled to hear that perfect guys so fast now by seat belts we are about to take off with the first topic of the day and that will be about the division of the chapter so before marking the beginning and inception of this particular chapter i must tell you that i'll be covering this chapter into two different parts number one wherein i'll be discussing with you some of the topics relating to stock exchange operations how they are being done and what are the relevant aspects with relation to the same thing now after considering all those things after having a proper understanding of what is being done and what all are the core topics with relation to stock exchange then i'll move towards the audit segments therein you'll be aware about the each and every kind of audit procedures that you need to do with different kind of stock exchange operations perfect so let's mark the beginning with a few of the relevant topics relating to stock exchange operations and the first topic will be conditions for a member of a stock exchange for becoming a member so like i always say first thing comes first so before starting and marking the beginning of the members of stock exchange let's understand about the conditions if you, you tomorrow wants to become a member of stock exchange will you be able to become one so you need to follow some of the conditions and guidelines so what all are those so number one is membership only a member can transact a business at a stock exchange can you do the transactions at a stock exchange no you can't do that okay why on your own basically you can do so while you have like avail the services which are being provided by your brokers the big brokers big broking giants beat carvi beat angel broking beat uh, motilal oswal beat edelweiss beat sher khan all these are the persons who have taken the membership of the stock exchange only they are supposed to transact okay now if you want to invest your money into stock exchange you need to contact them and then they'll be contacting their stock exchange completely so only a member can transact business at a stock exchange members are also called as stock or share brokers members can transact number 1 on their own behalf that is if carvi wants to like invest directly into some of the securities of reliance they can do so or on account of others let's suppose you go to carvi and say carvi carvi i want to invest in reliance share will you be able to help me out with the same they'll say yes absolutely we'll charge your commission whether you will be like able to provide us that to say okay i'll be doing that perfect so you can also members can transact on their own behalf or on account of others as well that means their clients or their sub brokers so even the big brokers are having their sub brokers those sub brokers are having, are having their sub brokers so that goes by chain and so chain and on why because the membership fee that you need to pay is huge that's a huge investment i mean i must say that's the kind of investment which is not done even in lakhs that comes to crores so that's why it, members are so many limited okay why because solely of this fact that nobody uh, on this planet like not many people on this planet are going to afford that much membership fees that goes in crores 2 crores 3 crores 8 crores depending on the kind and size of the nature of a business so that will go accordingly so only a member can transact at a stock exchange maybe on their own behalf or on account of others number 1 clear cool then comes the segments so the stock exchange can have membership in multiple trading segments such as capital market segment then comes wholesale debt market segment then comes derivative segment all these are different segments by capital market i simply assume things to be like stock and scripts if you want to like directly invest into reliance shares tata shares infosys shares or any other company shares so that will be included in capital market segment now if i'll talk about wholesale debt market segment so regularly companies are releasing their uh, debt issues as well 10% debenture 12% debenture 14% debenture so that's so on so that all these debenture related activities the debt related activities will be covered under wholesale debt market segment next will be the derivative segment so if you want to avail the benefits of futures playing options playing swaps all these will be covered under derivative segment 
deposit and the fee structure which is applicable to a member is going to be depending on the kind of trading segment in which he or she is admitted so that's how the complete membership fee will be divided into different kind of segments membership is in multiple trading segments now comes your condition for admission whether you will be admitted to become a member or not so each stock exchange has its own sebi approved rules and regulations for admission of the members membership in a stock exchange is generally restricted to the persons who are financially sound not just financially sound very 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 sound i must tell you because the membership fees is in crores you need to take care of that so they are financially sound and they possess adequate experience as stock exchange operations involve considerable financial commitments on the part of its members so they need to be aware they need to be technically sound as well and along with that the requirements for becoming a member of stock exchange is also contained in scra act of 1956 sebi act of 1992 and various other rules regulations and notifications so you need to abide by all those regulations and requirements as well these are the three basic conditions for admission now if i'll talk about the restrictions the kind of condition which needs to be fulfilled on admission as a member number 1 is the funds and resources extremely important extremely important guys the member of the exchange should not be involved in any of the fund lending or borrowing activities except as required or in connection with or incidental to or consequential upon the securities business so you should not be involved in any other fund lending or business activities apart from this your own securities business that is number 1 number 2 uh So the gross gross turnover of the member should be in direct correlation with the base capital and additional capital which is deposited by the member of the exchange this is something which is being considered as a condition for funds and resources these two next comes the trading operations so the member should be regular in paying the margin money that is called mark to margin i'll be like briefly telling you up about all these things mark to margin volatility margin all these things will be like covered uh, in my next forthcoming presentation so i'll be telling you what different kind of margins a person needs to be aware of and what all they need to take care of all these margins as well so the member should be like very regular in paying the margin money like mark to market volatility uh, as per the requirements of the exchange the member should report all of market and negotiated deals to the concerned stock exchange within the time limits which are being prescribed in this regard by the exchange all kind of off market or negotiated deal by off market as simply mean the kind of negotiation which you do so the kind of orders that you take up on the behalf of that negotiation that negotiated deals negotiated deals will be like entered into by the members should result in a compulsory delivery the member should not enter into any kind of fictitious transactions the member should not absolutely not should not enter any of the fictitious transactions also the member should not have any dealings with the sub brokers which are not registered with sebi so this is something which is extremely requirement of a thing you cannot have any of the dealings with the sub brokers who are not registered with sebi all need to be registered also the member of stock exchanges who are acting as sub brokers should register with sebi this is being told into as the trading operations next comes your disclosure disclosure of proprietary trading by the brokers to the client so uh, sebi is like very much stringent on these front guys sebi wants that uh, transparency should be maintained in each and every step so in order to increase the transparency in the dealings between a broker and a client sebi has directed that every broker shall disclose to the client whether he does what he does client on the basis of that business and proprietary trading also they need to ensure that the broker shall disclose this information upfront to all his new clients at the time of entering into the know your customer or i should say know your client agreement as well and in case a broker who at present does not trade on a proprietary account should do so but chooses to do so at a later date he is required to disclose to all his clients before carrying out that proprietary trading proprietary trading is something which you will be like doing on behalf of that client okay that's not your money you will be like availing the facility from that client on his own money so you need to disclose all these things in order to increase your transparency to them next comes the audit finally so all the active members i mean all 
all the active members of stock exchange should get their books of accounts audited by a chartered accountant in practice. A member is treated as active for the purpose of audit if in case he has conducted business and securities even for a single day in an accounting year. Remember, even for a single day, let's suppose car week gets closed tomorrow itself, okay, but still they have like today, uh, if I'll talk about like five days are like already elapsed for the month of April. So if they have like work for uh, five days as well, still they need to get their accounts audited because a member is treated as active for the purpose of audit, even if he has conducted the business uh, insecurities, even for a single day in accounting year. We just hope Carvi doesn't lose at all. Carvi is a very good uh, institution in itself. So long live Carvi. <laughs> Next comes, what is your scope of audit? So the annual account of audit will be in the nature of normal audit itself as it is conducted in any of the companies, cooperative societies or other entities. That will be very similar. One. So that's all about the conditions which are required to be fulfilled for a member of a stock exchange for becoming a member. Only a member can transact a business at stock exchange. Membership can be provided in multiple segments, be it capital market, be it wholesale debt market, be it derivatives market. All you need to take care of various conditions for your admission basically. So uh, each stock exchange has their own rules and membership is being restricted to the persons who are financially sound and possess the relevant experience. They need to take care of the funds and resources, trading operations, disclosure of proprietary trading by broker to client and they need to get their accounts audited all the time each year even if they have worked for a single day. Perfect guys, are you like clear with the each and every kind of thing that I mentioned and made you understand over here? Thank you. On behalf of the IDPedia world, keep interacting via questions, queries and YouTube comment boxes. I will love to answer each one of your queries and advances. Stay connected. That will help us in understanding your needs way, 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 way better guys. Till then, take care. Love you all. Bye. Sayonara. Take care.